Imagine traveling at incredible speeds through the Japanese countryside. Your car's wheels barely make contact with the earth. You're floating. The world's fastest train, Japan's fabled levitating bullet train, will soon make this incredible feeling a reality. Levitating trains may sound far-fetched, but they may be closer than you think. It will be the first to travel the 178 miles between Tokyo and Nagoya once it is finished. Why does it need to cost $64 billion? Let's explore in today's video. Hello and welcome to Building the Future. In today's video, we are going to talk about Japan's levitating bullet trains explained. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. This nation plans to go even further by creating a system that enables travel at a rate two times faster than the previous generation of trains. The first line of this revised magnetic levitation-based system is almost complete, despite some technical difficulties like delays, environmental concerns, and higher-than-expected construction costs of $64 billion. So what technique will the Japanese use for their incredibly fastest train? What will the future hold? And how does this exorbitantly priced project benefit the Japanese economy? Watch the video all the way through to learn more about it. The world's fastest train, a levitating bullet train, is being constructed in Japan. Using superconducting magnets, it will levitate 10 centimeters above the ground surface. The train accelerates to 93 miles per hour on rubber wheels before being lifted by magnets. There is no conductor because it is autonomous. Accidents are far less likely as a result. With top speeds of 320 kilometers per hour, it will transport more than 10 billion passengers and contributed to the development of the third largest economy in the world. These new trains will float 10 centimeters above the ground using magnetic levitation, reducing the friction caused by coming into contact with the tracks. However, the new route has generated much debate due to delays, increasing construction costs, and environmental concerns. Japan has some experience with trains. The Keid Shinkansen line between Tokyo and Osaka was built in 1959, making the nation the first to develop high-speed rail. At the time, many individuals in Japan and around the rest of the globe were dubious about the nation's significant investment in rail, believing it would soon become obsolete in the exciting new era of air travel and motorways. To prepare for Tokyo's first staging of the Olympics, the first high-speed line opened in October 1964. It reduced the distance between the two largest cities in Japan from around seven hours to just under four. The line served more than 100 million people in less than three years, demonstrating its immediate success. On a modern bullet train, the same journey now takes 2.5 hours. It will take 67 minutes to complete the new Chid Shinkansen line. 500 miles per hour will be the top speed of the Chi Shinkansen trains. Since the friction caused by the wheels eventually limits all traditional bullet trains, it is generally accepted that those speeds are practically impossible for them to reach. To overcome that issue, Japanese engineers turned to magnetic levitation, often known as maglev, a technique that has been available since the early 1900s. The world's first commercial maglev line which connects Shanghai's downtown to its airport, has been operating since 2004. In truth, ideas for maglev trains date back to the 1960s. JDR Central, or the Central Japan Railway Company, has upgraded this technology by employing superconducting magnets. However, for the magnets to work, trains must go swiftly before they can levitate higher above the tracks. When the train reaches a speed of 150 kilometers per hour on its own, the maglev system engages, and the carriage is raised off its pneumatic wheels. The train then engages with a pair of track coils, one of which is employed to lift the train's mass and the other to move it ahead. The Chi Shinkansen will be 90% underground and pass through the Southern Alps, in contrast to the current bullet trains whose tracks follow the coastline of Japan. The 285-kilometer route will have 256 kilometers of tunnels. Two factors account for this. First, 
Maglev trains operate best when they follow the straightest path possible. Second, by tunneling beneath the mountains, Japan's more earthquake-prone coast is avoided. However, Jor Central has dug some of Japan's deepest tunnels using this strategy. This has sparked some environmental worries, particularly in Shizuoka Prefecture, where tunneling threatens the river basin, a significant water source for the area. Local governments have criticized these findings for being unsatisfactory and rushed, although environmental assessments have shown that the risk of upsetting the basin is negligible. Even the current governor of Shizuoka ran against the train in the June 2021 election, winning with Chi. Shinkansen is a significant issue. One of the nation's most expensive megaprojects ever attempted, the project's cost has increased from $13.7 billion to a staggering $64 billion due to this issue and unanticipated challenges in the construction of new stations. Many Japanese people are now debating whether the new line is worth it due to the high price. Yes, there are several issues with Japan's maglev. What are the issues? Will it affect the Japanese economy? They will cost more to operate once finished since they need more energy, but you could counter that they would promote more economic growth. Additionally, they won't be able to go as frequently and won't be able to accommodate as many passengers in their more miniature carriages. On the Tokyo-Osaka line, conventional bullet trains depart every three minutes. It will only be able to operate a maglev train once every 10 minutes because switching maglev tracks requires additional time. Additionally, exporting technology abroad has historically allowed Japanese train companies to recover significant financial losses. Why is Japan so determined to construct this maglev line? And why did the government give JR Central a loan to complete it 10 years earlier than expected? The Chi Shinkansen can connect the area between Tokyo and Osaka significantly by reducing the travel time between the two main cities in the nation. It's an amazing project that's attracting more and more attention globally. Through carefully placed infrastructure, China's Pearl River Delta and Jingjinji region are systematically creating megacities. In contrast, formal boundaries are blurred between the northeastern U.S. cities, from Boston to Washington, D.C. The same holds for Western Europe. By merging huge cities in this way, it is possible to build economic powerhouses on a scale we have never seen before. More than 50 years ago, when construction on the first bullet train started, the project was mocked by everyone. But ultimately, it made Japan more prosperous and connected its areas. After its opening, Japan's economy grew from only 10% the size of the US to become the second largest in the world in just a decade. Time will tell if this new line will lift the nation to even greater success. Other countries are also inspired by this project. Japan is home to two-thirds of the whole high-speed network in the world, making it the king of high-speed rail today. In some countries, this could appear to be an extravagant or wasteful use of funds. In addition to its staggering price tag, the new line will be tough to construct because more than 80% of its planned route will pass through mountain tunnels that must be completely excavated. However, China is starting to create its version of the technology even though none of its intercity lines is maglev. It tested a maglev train in July 2021 that could travel at 600 kilometers slash, nearly beating Japan's previous record. Theoretically, a train could make the four and a half hour flight from Beijing to Shanghai in three and a half hours. Japan's technology is not necessary for China to acquire, while the developed world is still trying to catch up with high beam rail. Levitating bullet train construction in Japan began in 2014 and is anticipated to be completed in 2027. 90% of the area will be underground, underneath the Southern Alps. This is because trains travel faster on straight tracks and want to stay away from Japan's earthquake-prone coast. A startling $64 billion is the total cost of this tunnel and track. According to physics professor Paul Kalkins, short-range planes will likely be replaced by maglev trains. It won't take as long as a short flight and will emit no emissions because it uses renewable electricity. While constructing maglev trains will be costly, the economy, making travel more accessible, and connecting the cities will all benefit. What does the rest of the world think of Japan's current project, and what does Japan think of itself? Share your opinion with us in the comments below.
We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Building the Future and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.